Hello, I'm Harold Weinbreck, Mayor of Cary. And I'm Lori Bush, at-large representative and Mayor Pro Tem on the Cary Town Council, and this is Cary Matters. Yay! Yay! We created this program to help keep you informed about issues that council members are working on for our community. That's right, Lori. And this time, we're going to be talking about money. Woo! Specifically, the money used to run, maintain, and provide services for the people of Cary. We just started our new fiscal year on July 1st, which is the 2020 budget. And while this date is important, we have transitioned to a continuous budget where we review financials quarterly to allow more flexibility. That's right. And budgets can be such a dry topic and kind of confusing for some folks. Although it may seem to our citizens like a quick process, creating the budget is actually a year-long endeavor with all of our departments engaged. We also seek input and feedback from you, our citizens. Though many methodologies we use to do this, email, phone, social media, and more, so that you can weigh in on our carry priorities. We also end the process with public hearings on the proposed budget, again, seeking that input from all of you. And just a reminder, our Cary Community Plan drives all of our planning processes as well. And that is a great point. And unlike the federal government, cities and towns are required to have a budget in place before the end of the fiscal year. And we take our fiduciary responsibilities very seriously. Our budgets not only have to be balanced, but expenses cannot exceed our budget. This year, our budget is $336.5 million, but it's 3.2% less than last year's budget. Pretty cool. That's, I'll repeat that, 3.2% <laughs> less than last year's budget. And our tax rate remains at 35 cents per $100 of valuation, which keeps us at the lowest tax rate in Wake County once again, and I believe we've had that designation for over the last 10 years. I believe you're right, and that's really good news. There are some changes, though, that we should call out. Our solid waste fee will increase $2.50 a month. This is due to the increase in costs associated with our recycling program. Now, as many folks know, there was a time, you remember, mm -hmm. when we actually received revenue from our recycling program. But with the changes in the way that China, who is the leading consumer of U.S. recyclables, is operating, they're strictly regulating the quality of recyclables entering their country. So overall, our 2020 recycling budget is 46% higher than last year, with the cost of recycling skyrocketing, not just here, but across the country. Wow, things are really changing, and they're changing pretty fast. The other rate that is changing is our utility rate, which will be increasing 2%. This is actually lower than what we expected in our 10-year forecasting model, which projected an increase of 3%. This rate allows us to continue to invest in providing the highest quality, safest drinking water and utility services to our citizens. And did you know, here's the did you know quiz time, that for every tax dollar paid, 36 cents goes to public safety, fire, and police. That's nice that? that we have most of our money going there. That is good. It is also why we're one of the safest cities in the country. 31 cents goes to administration and internal functions such as human resources, procurement, information technology, and development services such as transportation, facilities, planning, and inspections. 15 cents supports public works activities. 11 cents helps us retire the debt for streets, parks, and government facilities. And then finally, the one that a lot of people pay attention to, mm -hmm. is that seven cents helps fund parks, recreation, cultural, and athletic programs. That's right. In addition, our staff prepares a capital budget and updates our 20-year plan every year. The capital improvements budget presents our revenue and expenditures amount for the next 12 months. It includes non-operating items such as the structures like fire stations and park construction and sidewalks. The capital improvement plan identifies long-range funding that will be needed all the way to 2040. 
Specific projects planned in the next five years will include estimate dollar amounts, which allows us to see the big picture for our investments across town and how they will be rolled out. Yeah, we've continued to align our budget priorities with our Cary Community Plan. So that means you'll continue to see investments in things that matter most to us, our greenways, parks, public safety, transportation, infrastructure, and of course, historic preservation, facilities, and cultural activities. There is so much more that we could cover oh, yeah. when it comes to the budget, but you can check out our budget online and see it all for yourself. Although it is a, about a 300 plus page document. Yes, it is. <laughs> I really do think it's a great way to learn more about Cary, see the great work and investment that we all make to keeping Cary the amazing community that it is. Check out www.townofcary.org slash budget to learn more. Yeah, got to check it out. At least read the executive summary. Well, that's it for this edition of Cary Matters. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, thanks for choosing to call Carrie home. <laughs>